Here's example two of applications of trig. So again, if you want to copy this worksheet to follow along with, uh, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link and get a copy of this worksheet here. So example two, let's zoom in a little bit on this. A six foot tall man standing on a cliff spots a boat on the water below and the angle of depression to the boat is 67 degrees. If the boat is 500 feet from the base of the cliff, how high is the cliff? Okay. So first thing we want to do here is draw a picture to uh, illustrate what's happening. Okay, so we have a six foot tall man standing on a cliff. So let's draw that. So here's our six foot tall man. Okay, that's uh, six. And then he's standing on a cliff. Okay, and the cliff, the height of the cliff is what we're looking for. How high is the cliff? So that's, uh, we'll call that H. Okay. And uh, this man standing on the cliff, he spots a boat on the water below, and the angle of depression to the boat is 67 degrees. Okay, so he sees a boat down below, so we'll put the boat uh, somewhere over here. Little sail right there. Okay, great artistic skills. So here's the water, and we are told that uh, the boat is 500 feet from the base of the cliff, so this right here is 500. Okay, and then we have to be careful of, here, the angle of depression to the boat is 67 degrees, so we have to be careful. What we have right here so far is a, uh, some pieces of a right triangle, okay, because this right here is a right angle, because uh, here the cliff's just going to go straight down, we can safely assume, because we're not really told otherwise, and we are dealing with uh, applications of trig, things like that. So, um, right angle here, now we have to complete the triangle, but uh, we don't want to draw the line from here, okay, we want to draw the line from up here, because the man... Uh, he spots the boat down below, so we'll draw it from the top of his head. Okay. And we can just complete that in there. Okay, so now uh, we have this right triangle here, and we're told that the angle of depression to the boat is 67 degrees. Okay, 67 degrees. So what's the angle of depression? Well, we talked about angle of elevation in the previous example. This is the angle of elevation. Um, but the angle of depression... So we might think it's uh, this right here, but actually the angle of depression is going to be, well, before we can label it, we have to extend, or let's draw a little dotted line out here. And this dotted line here is parallel with this uh, line down here. Okay, so the, this line right here is parallel with this dotted line, and this right here is actually the angle of depression, which we were given as 67 degrees. Okay, so the angle of depression is not this one in here, not inside the triangle. It's actually this one right here, uh, outside the triangle. And we're told it's 67 degrees. Okay. So now, how does that help us? Because we're trying to find H, right? Uh, we need to find H. So we know this is 500, this angle is 67 degrees, this guy is 6 feet tall. Uh, how can we use all that? Well, remember, one of those um, properties from geometry um, was if you have these two parallel lines that are being cut by this transversal right here, um, then this angle and this angle are congruent. In other words, they have the same measure. Okay, so because this dotted line up here is parallel with this line here, and these two are being cut with this uh, straight line right here, this angle and this angle are the same. Okay, so that's just a property from geometry. So how does that help us? Well, now this is 67 degrees. Um, we have this opposite side is uh, h plus 6. Okay, if this is h and this is 6, then the whole thing is h plus 6, okay? And then we know this is 500. So now we can just use tangent, right? Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of this angle is going to be this whole side, okay, this entire side, h plus 6, divided by this side, 500. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. Uh, tangent of 67 degrees equals h plus 6, okay, the entire opposite side, h plus 6. So remember, it's this whole side because this 67 degrees is inside this uh, big triangle here. It goes all the way up here, so h plus 6. Um, opposite divided by adjacent, and the adjacent we were given is 500 uh, feet. Okay, we were given that in the problem description. So this is 500. So we have h plus 6 divided by 500, and now we pretty much just solve for h. So it might be kind of tempting to toss this into a calculator right now, but it's better to, uh, what, you know, when we do that, we're going to get an irrational number, and we're going to have to round out to so many decimal places. And it's really best to avoid rounding. Um, put it off as long as you can. And in this case, we can actually avoid rounding until the very end, which if we can do that, that's great. So let's go ahead and do that. So in other words, 
the tangent 67 degrees, we'll keep that as it is until the very last step. Then we'll put everything in the calculator and that uh, will help us make sure that we're as accurate as we can be. Okay. So multiply both sides by 500. So 500 times the tangent of 67 degrees equals h plus 6. Okay. Now we subtract 6 from both sides. So 500 times the tangent of 67 degrees minus 6 equals h. Okay, now we can just toss that into a calculator, and we're going to get h is approximately, uh, let's see. So we'll uh, pull out our calculator, and let's zoom in on this. So we want to do 500 times the tangent of 67 degrees minus 6. Okay, so uh, first make sure that we're in the degree mode, because we're dealing with degrees, not radians. Okay, and we want to do 500 times the tangent of 67 degrees and then minus 6, okay? And that's approximately 1171.926183. Okay, so let's zoom back out a little bit. And that's pretty much our answer. So we weren't told how many uh, decimal places to round, so let's just include four decimal places. So it was 1171.9262. If we round out to four decimal places, it'll be 1171.9262. And then feet, make sure we put the units on there. Okay. And that's it for example two of applications of trig.